welcome back to my channel. We have an interesting unboxing today because this is supposed to be a vacuum cleaner. The online order slip shows the vacuum we ordered. And when the box arrived, I took a look at it and thought, there is no way a vacuum fits in here. Yeah. By further investigation, we also noticed a couple other things. So the box says... 16 piece. Gray gift boxed dinner set. Let me see if I can it. <laughs> um, it's okay. It's not ugly. <laughs> Should we go further? We want to be really sure it's not a vacuum. Yeah. You know? Here is a mug. I think we need to get a plate. So, not a vacuum, 100%. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. I was really excited for the vacuum to arrive. Vacuum review coming to you soon. We're going to be unboxing that one. We'll let you know what happens to this dish plate, I'm sure. <laughs> this looks a little bit more like a vacuum, hey? <laughs> We're back. All right, so this is the update. We returned the not our style dishware set and then they had to do an investigation to figure out that we didn't actually get the vacuum. Yeah, no doubt. But good news is at the end of the day, they resent it. They also gave us 20% off on the sale price. So at the end of the day, it's a win. Yeah, thanks Hudson Bay Company, not sponsored. Love it. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Um, we are not sponsored by Shark. This is just us needing to buy a brand new vacuum because our cheap one, you get what you pay for, it didn't last very long, so. It was an Amazon special. This is the one we've been researching. It's got a lot of really awesome features, especially that work with this, which was the main selling feature. So we're excited, let's dig into this. This looks way better than a box. <coughs> yeah, this looks more like a vacuum. The old flip and reveal. Ooh. It's a little vacuum. Oh. It's vacuuming the vacuum. Ah. Ooh. I'm really excited. Uh, if you didn't know why we chose this vacuum over the other ones, is because this one has a self-cleaning brush roll. So essentially there's like a comb and the brush rolls past it so that the hairs get pulled into the vacuum instead of just around the roll. Instructions, we need those. So you can keep on packing, I'll do this one. This is what we're talking about. This is why we chose this one over a Dyson or something like that. This we one, chose it because it's pink. It's not why just we kidding. They just happen to be this magenta That's what it is. something it's color. Beautiful. It's a beautiful shine to it. Um, but yeah, the Dyson's had good review for suction, but we are more concerned about Linda's, Linda's hair uh, getting stuck in the roller. So, look at this. So if you can see there, it's got these paddles instead of a brush. So that's the first step um, if it doesn't tangle. And then it's really hard to see, but before it becomes into here, before the, the whatever your debris, it's got combs pretty much all along here. So it brushes these combs as they go by, uh, cleaning them. So that's very cool. I got charging cord. It's heavy too. It feels uh, durable. Light force. Battery. Uh, you want me to go through this? Yep. Next, we have a soft kind of upholstery brush. There has been some reviews. It's only the only thing that was kind of the downside for this thing in terms of in buying it in Canada is this was not as advertised essentially on the pictures. In the pictures, it was a heavier brush. This has just like a felt kind of thing on it, so it's not really 
pulling debris up. It's more of just like guiding it in. Right, like it's supposed to be like a handheld. There's supposed to be bristles. Like bristles like this one. Yeah, but like on honestly, a, most other vacuums. If I'm going to vacuum the couch, I'm yeah. getting the job done quicker anyway. And then your classic little crevice tool. Very Dyson-esque uh, attachment for the wand, essentially. Very Dyson connectivity feel to it. Or Dyson copied them. I don't really know what's the difference. We did have a Dyson in the past. Yeah. I've had a few of them. I've had the canister one. Uh, we had a cordless one for a while. Very short while. They had a recall, so we sent it back. Mm -hmm. But honestly, like the shark is just such awesome reviews and the price just made a lot more sense. Yeah. Um, still in terms of look, I think they both are very beautiful looking. This is almost like a shiny metallic magenta. And then on the rest, it's very uh, matte looking, but uh, feels strong, sturdy. We'll see how it holds up to knit, like kind of, we'll see how it holds up to the little bangs and nicks and such let's talk about the power though it's it's got charge <laughs> it's not super loud can you control it that was all the way okay it's not loud no, no it's not super loud we'll see how the suction is there is a max button though you didn't hit the max pull oh. so the trigger yeah so that would be for a more stubborn carpet or uh, if you're doing something else. It's hardwood carpet. Right. That's what the two cords are. Okay. Yeah. And then we have a dump release here. So it's got a little guide. You press it and it just pops out like that. Very cool. This one is nice. Yeah. I like that there's still like enough room to get a hand in there to pull it out. Yeah. Canister is a little deceiving in terms of size. The max kind of fill line is around here, but I'm sure like it could take more than that. I mean, really, if you're vacuuming on a day-to-day -day basis really quick or at least often enough, you're not, you just gotta empty it. I mean, that's cool. Uh, one other thing that I really like about this vacuum versus like a Dyson is this portion here. You can buy a replacement battery. Uh, I'm sure it's quite expensive because the way products are made these days is this is the most important, most valuable part. The rest is replaceable, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe if somebody's selling one online that they don't want to buy the vacuum for cheap, it's almost gonna be cheaper than buying the battery. So that might be something to look out for if you're looking to budget. Yeah. And the nice thing about this too is if your house is a little bit bigger and you know that you're gonna, like it's gonna die before the job's done, Owning two batteries, yeah, that's kind of nice. Uh, if there's a mystery button here, I haven't read the instructions, so we're just going Question. by, see what happens here. I'm scared. Maybe you should read the instructions. Okay, I'm going to resort to reading the instructions because I don't want to break the brand new bat thing. I'm really good at just forcing things down. That was probably what I needed. It's literally what a battery. Where's the battery indicator? Is on this side right here. So I think you gotta turn it on. So it's on one bar. So that's a low charge. I'm sure they want you to charge it before use. Yeah. Prior to use, charge completely. Yeah. Which sucks because I was really excited to vacuum everything. There is a different model that's not this one, but. Uh, that has a hinge here. So what happens is you're able to get under maybe couches or something like that a little bit better. The other one did not have the HEPA filter. This one has a HEPA filter, which is super handy being all allergies and whatnot and having a dog. Mm -hmm. And that we're gonna be living basically in a construction zone. We want something that's gonna take the dust and keep it off. HEPA filter. Then we have a fine dust filter there. This is all completely washable, which I like about it. You can completely take it apart. I'm sure there's even replacements for that. And then you can pretty much open this up and take a, a water and wash it all out completely. So 
pretty great to make sure that you can get all the nooks and crannies, especially if you have allergies. Or... Nobody likes to buy filters. No, reusable filters. No. Except for like after a few while, this might need replacing, but if you can wash it, it'd be great. Well, that's the ins and outs of this uh, shark vacuum. There's a light on the front. We didn't say that either, but uh, we're excited to use it. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, we're should probably fully charge it first. We're gonna plug it in. We're gonna fully charge it. Um, we're gonna use it for a couple weeks. So by the time you're seeing this unboxing to when you'll actually see the video, a couple weeks will have passed. So we'll be able to update you on how it works, how I like it, and how it handles the hair. Bye, I'll just go charging. All right, so here we are a couple weeks later. I really wanted to make sure that I had a chance to use the vacuum and really get a sense for how it works before I give you a review. Now, I'm gonna be straight honest with you. I did not throw a bunch of Cheerios on the ground or dump out a bag of gravel in order to test this thing. I just want to make sure that it worked in the day-to-day -day useful things that a vacuum is supposed to do without like forcing it to do unrealistic things for our lifestyle. And after a couple weeks, I've really been able to put it to work and I feel like I'm able to give you an honest review on how it works in your standard household. So what I want to do is I just want to share with you the pros and cons that I found with the vacuum. Now, first up, I just want to say my review on this vacuum is definitely a positive one. I am absolutely thrilled about it. I have no regrets and definitely am not disappointed with the purchase. So let's jump into the pros and cons. Because I love the vacuum, I'm going to start with the positives. First things first, the anti-tangle brush that comes like with your standard attachment. This thing is amazing. It was the biggest selling feature when we bought this vacuum because inevitably speaking, all of these beautiful locks end up literally everywhere. And even with our Roomba, we are constantly having to pull out the rotating brushes disassemble the wheels, unclog everything from them, and it is just a pain in the butt to have to constantly be disassembling your vacuum over here. So Shark has really done an amazing, amazing job. Literally, the brush is clean and the hair just comes out of the canister in like a tiny little ringlet. It's super cool, can't speak more amazing stuff about that. The other pro that I have is that the unit itself is actually decently quiet. Now I use it mostly on the hardwood setting so the hardwood setting is not as crazy so it's definitely not as loud. The max suction is a little bit louder but by no means do I find that it is obnoxiously loud. So that's something that I really appreciate. You know, I certainly can't watch TV while I vacuum, but I also don't feel like it's screaming at me for 20 minutes while I vacuum. And it's something that I feel with babies in the home, you could easily vacuum and it not be a huge, huge disturbance. The other really great thing I like about it, and I touched on it regarding the settings, is that the vacuum has a hardwood a carpet, which I'll be totally honest, I haven't had the chance to fully experience because we don't have carpet in our complex right now. Uh, but then it also has the trigger for max suction. And the max suction is really awesome for things like baseboards. Or as you saw in the little vacuum montage, getting dog toys out from under the bed. As we're also talking about features and options that are on here, I also love that the debris bin release is 
it won't open because it's upside down, but literally a simple push and pop and then snap back on, making it pretty much hand like one-handed operation. You can just push that, give it a shake and a flick, and it closes back up, which is really cool. The other thing I appreciate about the vacuum that maybe some people will disagree with, especially if you have a bigger home or different needs, I really love the different attachments that come with it. Now, the reason someone may not agree with this is that these are the only attachments that come with this vacuum. So the duster and the crevice tool. Both of these tools work really well. I find they do exactly what they need to. The duster tool is soft enough that it doesn't scratch the surface of whatever it is you're dusting, and I can appreciate that. But I appreciate that it doesn't have too many tools. We have another handheld, like just quick cleanup vacuum that has a whole bag of tools, most of which I've never used, that just take up space in our home. So I love that the tools that are included are good, they do what they're supposed to do, and they serve all of the needs that we have as it relates to a vacuum. The other really great thing regarding tools for the, the big base is that it's got these teeth at the bottom. So you can see those teeth here. And these teeth actually allow for larger debris to be picked up. So whether it's something like kibble or something bigger that was dropped on the floor, the vacuum is more than capable of handling any, pretty much anything that we find on the ground. Uh, Dexter likes to pull all the stuffing out of his dog toys. I unfortunately find that the motorized head does not pick those up, but the crevice tool does a fantastic job in its place. So all in all, I truly think that this is a really great vacuum. There will never be a situation, I think, where I'm vacuuming the entire house in one go at it so i really don't know that i'll ever have any concerns as it relates to the battery and having it die while i'm using it but the other cool thing about the vacuum is that the battery oh, literally that easy you push a little button on the side the battery comes off unlike other vacuums like the Dyson. So if you did find that one battery was not enough of a charge for you to do your whole, house, your whole house and that was a problem, you could just order another battery from Shark, have the two of them charged and switch them out halfway through the job. So that's always an option that's available. Now, every vacuum is not perfect. And this one certainly does have a few set downs. The first and biggest challenge that I have with the vacuum is that it doesn't come with a wall mount. So it has this little lip here that I can only imagine would be used for hanging it up on a wall and it does have this little rubber grip as well as on the bottom. So we had an old Divya handheld vacuum that just wasn't it wasn't very big so it's not going to work in the new place and we would just kind of like haphazardly hang this piece on there but we sold the vacuum and we sold the mount with it so this vacuum actually just has to be put on a shelf or we're going to see if we can buy some kind of bracket to put on the wall that we can hang it on this would otherwise not really be a challenge, except that when the vacuum is attached to the base, so to the wand and motorized head, it doesn't stand up on its own because this part is just simply too heavy. So we can either hang just the motorized part or put it on a shelf, which is likely what we may do until we find a bracket to hang it on. But if the motorized head is on the wand and the motorized 
like end piece it doesn't stand up on its own now this piece without the big motorized bit on the end does stand up on its own so it's easy to store in that sense so that's just really weird because they don't make storage of this unit super duper easy the other challenge that i have with it specifically as it relates to like putting it away is charging i have had a dyson in the past and i really appreciated the charging mount so you had the mount it was charged you just hook, hook your vacuum on it and it'll charge it for you this one actually has a cord you have to plug the cord into the the unit to charge it so if you put it away on its non-existent wall bracket and you forget to plug it in the vacuum is probably going to be dead when you go to use it next time so that's just maybe a preference i had with dicing and something i'll just have to get used to as we use this one the last challenge that i have with this vacuum and this may or may not be as bad as i think now that i've had the chance to use it for a little while but when i first started using it i found it to be quite heavy now this could just be that our previous vacuum was really really small and really really light and i just wasn't used to how much i had to push around so it might just be that it's just heavier than what I'm used to but it's not a light unit and you definitely have to get used to how heavy it is and how heavy it is to push around. I can't remember how it would compare to the Dyson that we had. Uh, it's probably pretty similar when you're comparing the two with the similar size canisters but in comparison to what I've been using for the last little while I just found it heavy. The next thing I want to mention about it this is not necessarily a pro or a con, but we notice that when using the vacuum, it's got a weird delay. When you turn it on, it almost takes like a moment to kick in. So I'll, I'll do that for you. When it's not been used in a while, that delay is there. When I'm turning it on right after having turned it off, that delay isn't there. But it's just weird because it almost seems like the vacuum is just a little slow to fire up. Not a negative comment to the vacuum, um, just a quirk that we noticed while we were using it. So all in all, the Shark Pro Plus Pet with the HEPA filter is absolutely a vacuum that I would recommend. I've really enjoyed using it. I've really enjoyed the use of it. I haven't had any challenges and it's really done all of the jobs that I've put it to work to do. So I'm gonna give it a big thumbs up. And if you are looking for a small cordless vacuum, especially if dealing with long hair or pet hair is a challenge for you, I 100% recommend that you take a look at the Shark line. I really hope that you enjoyed this review. I will absolutely be reviewing different products in the future, especially with the new house. We're going to be getting new things for the house, new things to try out, and new things that I will be able to bring to my channel and recommend or not if you're looking for it in your own home. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up. And it means the world to me to have you subscribe and follow along with all of the adventures that are going to come in the near future. Love you all. See you in the next one.